Well, my name is Benedict Tosu, still here on the AM Show. We'll do some sports and, you know, we're going to the weekend with lots, lots to expect in the English Premier League. You're here on the local scene. A lot of happening there. The Black Stars uh, will start trickling down for that big game against Uganda next week, Friday, in Tamale. We'll also find time and talk about the Italian Serie A, the Bundesliga matches were played in the Europa League last night. Manchester United laboring to defeat Zoya by a goal to know Zlatan Ibrahimovic scored that goal will definitely bring you highlights of uh, matches uh, that happened in the Europa League. Baba Aman played a part as his club Schalke 04 defeated Salzburg by three goals to one. Also Sule Muntari's younger brother Muniru Sule scored in that 1-1 draw against uh, Villarreal. We'll tell you more about that but before we we'll do the foreign stuff. Let's uh, do some local stories. And Sports Minister Neil Lante Van der Poy has congratulated GFA boss Christine Yantichi for winning one of the two slots for Africa on the new FIFA Council. Now, Yantichi won a narrow contest at CAF's headquarters uh, yesterday to serve as one of the representatives of the continent's governing body on the FIFA Council. He joins CAF's Vice President Armani Kabeli Kamara of Guinea. Nilante, in an exclusive interview with Joyce Force, noted he expects Nyantichi to lead the FIFA reforms here in Ghana. So let me take the opportunity on behalf of His Excellency the President, the Government and people of Ghana to congratulate our own Kwasi Nyantichi for this immense victory. Uh, being elected as one of the two uh, CAF representatives of the FIFA Executive Council is no mean achievement. We tried in the past with uh, Samotri, SK Menu, Zak Bentum, and uh, others we didn't succeed, and this time succeeded. What we always say is that he should be able to use the opportunity we have given him as a country to assist this country and to bring support to this country. But more importantly, I think that he should be able to spearhead the issue of the reforms that FIFA itself is advocating and advancing so that we can have those reforms coming into our game here in Ghana. The reforms should not be sitting just at the FIFA. The reforms should come down to CAF and come down to our respective national associations. It is important, and this is what I'll be expecting from him. I'll be demanding from him that he leads the issue of reforms here in Ghana football. So that was Sports Minister Ni Lante Van der Poel in that exclusive interview with Joyce Sports. Remember, Mr. Cuisine Antichu will arrive in the country this afternoon at exactly 12.30 at the Kotoka International Airport. We'll definitely be there and bring you whatever that will happen at the airport as he comes back uh, after winning uh, one of uh, two, two slots on the council for CAF representatives. Now, we still uh, continue to do some more, and this time we are talking about uh, some national teams. First, uh, we'll start with the uh, under-17 male team, that's the Black Starlets, because they are in action tomorrow uh, in uh, Ivory Coast. Uh, they take on the, the Ivorian counterpart in the second leg of their final African Junior Championship qualifier. Remember the first leg which was played uh, two weeks ago at the uh, Cape Coast Stadium. Ghana won that game by three goals to one, so we must avoid anything defeat to ensure qualification to the tournament which will be staged in Madagascar next year. Let's hear from coach of the side, Paco Sifabin. No, it will, uh, if only we'll get the same officiating that we had here. <laughs> then I don't see why they can beat us. They cannot. I'm only praying that they will get the same officiating like we, we, they, they had here. That's all I'm praying for. So that was Black Star Let's coach Parkusi Fabian. Well, their female counterparts, that's the under 17 female team of Ghana. The Black Maidens are also in action. They will begin their campaign at this year's uh, FIFA under 17 Women's uh, World Cup in Jordan tomorrow. They, their first game actually is going to be against Japan. Remember, the team has been there preparing for uh, this competition for the past one. Tomorrow, they will begin their campaign. So it's going to be uh, the under-17, that's the black maidens uh, for the female side, and also the male side, that's the black starlets. The black starlets are playing in, a, uh, in a, a, an African qualifier, and we have the black maidens playing in the FIFA Women's World Cup. We'll definitely bring you more in our subsequent sports bulletins.